Hello. Welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to make flag animation by using cloth simulation in Blender. Let's get started the lecture. Firstly, let's make the flagstaff. Press Shift A and add a cylinder. Press S key and scale down the cylinder. Press S and Z keys respectively, and scale up the cylinder on the Z axis. Right click and make shade smooth. In order to fix shading problem, click on the object data properties tab, go to normal section, and enable the auto smooth option. Press Ctrl A and apply the scale transform. Press tab key and switch to edit mode. Activate the face selection mode and select the top face of the cylinder. Press I key and inset the face little bit. Press E key to extrude the face. Press E key, and then enter key. Press S key and scale up the face. Press E key and extrude the face again. Press numpad 3 and switch to right view. Let's press Ctrl R and add loop cuts. Slide the loop cuts to proper places. Press Ctrl Numpad 1 and switch to back order graphic view. Select these faces. Press Delete key and dissolve faces. Switch to right order graphic view. Press E key and extrude the face little bit. These will be pin points. Now, let's make the flag. Switch to object mode and add a plane. Rotate the plane 90 degrees on the y-axis. Scale up the plane little bit. Place the plane so that it touches the pin points. Let's switch to edit mode. Activate the vertex selection mode. Select these two vertices and move on the y-axis little bit. Before adding cloth physics for the plane, we need to add extra geometry to the plane. Press Ctrl R, and add vertical loop cuts enough. Now, let's add horizontal loop cuts in the same way. It is important to have even and uniform square topology. Firstly, let's determine pin vertices. Press Alt Z and switch to X-ray mode. Select these two edge loops. Click on the Object Data Properties tab, go to Vertex Group section, and add a new vertex group named Pins. Click on the Assign button and assign the vertices at 1.0 weight. Select this edge loop, set the weight value to 0.5, and click on the Assign button. When we switch to Weight Paint mode, we can see the vertex weights we have just assigned. It's time to add cloth physics for the plane. Let's switch to Object Mode. Press Alt Z and switch to Solid View. Click on the Physics Properties tab, and add Cloth Modifier to the plane. Set the quality steps of the simulation to 15. We gonna keep other values defaultly. Scroll down to Shape section, and select the vertex group we have just created as pins. Go to Collision section, set the collision quality value to 4. Enable the object collision and self-collision options. So, the flag will collide with itself, won't pass through itself. If you want, you can watch the tutorial about all cloth simulation settings. Before baking the simulation, let's select the flag staff, add collision physics. So, the flag will be able to collide with the flag staff. Select the plane again, go to cache section. You can set the simulation end frame as you wish. I gonna keep it at 250. Click on the bake button. Baking process has done. Let's play the simulation. As you can see it works properly. But, it looks flat shading. With the flag selected, right click and make shade smooth we can make the flag much more smooth.
Click on the Modifier Properties tab, and add Subdivision Surface Modifier. Set the number of subdivision levels to 2. As you can see, the corners of the flag have become smooth also. We want to keep the corners sharp. To do that, drop down Advanced Section, and choose the Keep Corners option. There we go. We can also give some thickness to the flag. Let's add Solidify Modifier. Press Numpad 7 and switch to Top View. We can increase and decrease thickness of the flag. Let's set the thickness value to 0.01. Also set the offset value to 0. So, the thickness will be from the center. Now, let's add a wind force field to wave the flag. Switch to right view. Press Shift A and add a wind force field. Rotate the wind field so that it points to the flag. Set the wind strength value to 3000. Select the flag, scroll down to cache section. Delete the previous bake, and bake the new simulation. Let's play the simulation. It looks cool. It's time to add texture for the flag. Let's switch to shading workspace. With the flag selected, click on the new button and add a new material. We can select the base color of the flag. Now, we are gonna add Blender logo on the flag. To do that, we'll use texture painting method. If you want, you can watch the tutorial about how to add decals and logos to 3D models. We need second principled shader to add logo on the base color. Let's press Shift A and add second principled shader. We need to mix both shader. To do that, let's add a mix shader. Plug the second shader node to under the first shader. Because second one is going to overlay the first one. We need a image texture now. Press Shift A and a image texture. Click on the new button and create new one. Rename this image as Blender logo. Set the resolution of the image to 2048 pixel. Click on the color, and set the alpha value all the way down to zero. So, the image texture will be full transparent background. Click on the OK button. Plug the color node to base color node. Also plug the alpha node to factor node of the mix shader. Now, switch to texture paint mode. Let's try to paint with brush tool. As you can see, we can paint the flag. But, we are gonna use stencil mapping method to add the logo. Press Ctrl Z and undo back. Click on the Active Tool tab. Scroll down to Texture section, and click on the new button to add new texture. Switch the mapping to Stencil. Go to Texture Properties menu, and click on the Open button, and choose the Blender logo, and open the image. Stencil mapping works by projecting the paint from the camera space on the mesh or canvas. Go back to Active Tool tab. Click on the Image Aspect button, so that we use original aspect ratio of the image. Hold down the mouse right button and move the image where you want. Let's press numpad 3 and switch to right view. Also, hold down shift key and right mouse button, and drag the mouse to scale up or down the image. Then, be sure that your brush has full strength. Set it all the way up to 1. Let's paint over the logo. There we go. Let's switch to object mode. Press spacebar and play the simulation. It looks amazing. We can also make reflective logo. To do this, let's decrease the roughness value.
let's add material for the flagstaff. Select the flagstaff, click on the new button, and add new material. Set the base color as light gray. Set the metallic value all the way up to 1. Set the roughness value to 0.2. Let's switch to layout tab. We gonna get viewport render. It would be faster. To do that, click on the output properties tab and set the output resolution to 1080 pixel. Scroll down to output section, choose the file you want to save your render result. Select the file format as MPEG and switch the container to MPEG4. Hide the all overlays in the viewport. Click on the view menu and viewport render animation. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial.